My whole life was hardship. And, and to some degree, I try and make sure my life retains some degree of hardship. Mm. Yeah, I was raised by probably the best father on earth. I really genuinely but believe But he wasn't that. around? It, it, but a father doesn't have to be around. This is the big mistake. This, the idea that a father needs to sit around like a second mother to make a child healthy is, is a fallacy. In fact, I'd say it's detrimental to the child. I see all these dudes out here, they have a kid and they basically become mother number two. Why? The mother keeps the child alive. As a father, it's your job to be impactful. You need to guide, you need to be a role model. Everyone should look at their father like a superhero. That's what you should genuinely view him as. It's hard to be a superhero if you're home every day arguing with your wife changing diapers. A man should rock up, teach lessons, be impactful, and it's more about quality as opposed to quantity of time. I saw my dad once a month. My father was a chess grandmaster. He's traveling the world playing chess. When he came home, it was an impactful time. Never was I ever around my father. It was a low energy environment. And I remember every single second spent with him. There's a whole bunch of dudes out here. Their father's home all the time, fine. But if you're home all the time, you're gonna lose to a degree your mystery. You're not gonna have that magical power as opposed to, whoa, dad's home. They let the woman convince them that to be a good dad, they need to be there all the time. Fathers never did this. We were always at war or down the coal mines or away working. This is the way it's always been for, the, for humanity, right? The men were away doing important things. Now the man's at home changing diapers. I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible yet not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children.